something so important that you do. Yeah, but everyone's saying that those are like really uncomfortable. And I mean, besides, it's not the first time. What can really go wrong? Girl, did you know that 22% of teenagers are diagnosed with HIV in the United States alone? I had no idea about that. Yeah. And approximately 250,000 babies are born to girls like us. So no matter how uncomfortable a condom might seem, it's, it is highly important that you use a condom. <laughs> yeah, I think I may have one. Thank you, girl. I will be using this for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like just the other day, I had a very interesting conversation about the subject. I'm here with a parent named Yolanda Prasad. As a parent, do you feel that it is important for teens to practice safe sex? It is important for teens to practice safe sex because there are a lot of diseases out there that I don't think anybody would want to contract because sometimes uh, the diseases can be detrimental and it causes a lot of health problems. Should schools promote and encourage teens to practice safe sex? It should not be solely left upon the schools. They have their parents at home. They're at religious forums, I'm, I'm sure. Yes, they need to be taught uh, that you know there are alternatives uh, to practice safe sex and keep themselves protected at all times. And any teenage person or youth then, they really need to practice, not only practice safe sex, but if possible, practice their own uh, religious beliefs of abstinence because I know religious beliefs and each person, like most people, most families then, have strong religious beliefs. Whether you're Catholic, Christian, uh, Muslim, Hindus, for the most part, they all promote abstinence. But of course, we know that is not really the ideal. That is the ideal situation, but it's not really a reality. Yes, a, a parent's worst nightmare is to not have um, their child or children uh, realize their full potential in life. And having unsafe sex, they have a whole lot of consequences that comes with it. My name is Ariana Honore. I am... I'll technically be in 14th grade. I'm going to be a sophomore in college. Uh, they try their best. They can't really do much, especially with like the parental uh, consent forms. So if their parents don't want them to know about it, then they're not going to learn about it in school. But um, they definitely do try their best in like how they would have free condoms in the nurse's office or how they even uh, conduct those classes in school. But it's not just like the school's responsibility, it's, it's also really the parents, because you're only in school for most of the day. <laughs> you're only in school for most of the day, but what you do outside of school, that, that's really when, you, when you're focusing on other activities besides schoolwork, and that's when you're really gonna engage in, in whatever you want to engage in, especially the things that you're curious in. So. It depends on where you go, because they're not just going to have like a bowl of condoms in like your English class. So <laughs> if you, sometimes if you go to some of your, um, your counselors, they would have it like maybe on a table, maybe by the concierge's desk. Um, in high school, you would have to go to like the nurse's office, maybe the principal's office. Not directly. Not like she like sat me down and was like, oh, these are the birds and the bees. It was sort of like I was curious as a child and I brought something inappropriate home. And um, that's when we sort of like got into that discussion. But it wasn't exactly like, this is what happens. This is what you need to do. She sort of just expected me to know it already because I brought that uh, whatever it was home. <laughs> Girl, so researchers prove that sexual education is proven to be highly effective and influences teens' positive sexual behaviors. These positive behaviors include having less sex and having less partners. So when you're really ready, it is important to use condoms. Condoms are proven to be 98% effective when it comes to preventing any STDs and unintended pregnancies.
Girl, just take care of yourself. I will. Mm -hmm.